don't got no time for these. I don't got no time for these. I don't got no time for these. 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 Time for Happy New Year to you all. This is my very first video of 2019. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do anything for New Year's because I did have a minor surgery. If you guys know me, you know sometimes I'll sound a little nasally or congested, which I still kind of am because I'm recovering. And y'all, sometimes your girl can't breathe. So my um there's like these i don't know how to explain it but they're in like the back of your nose and they get really swollen they're called adenoids and this is my third time they grew back so they had to remove them on new year's eve so i didn't even get to do anything and also they made sure that they got all like all of it out there so that they won't grow back again because it's very odd for them to keep growing back but they said it looks like the previous doctor didn't take it all the way out so that's why they kept growing back also before i get into this video this shirt is from cib apparel and it's the 90s baby it's the crop top and y'all i only have shorts on because um it's no point to put on a full outfit i literally did my makeup in here to sit in the house today can't go out <laughs> can't get an infection in my nose but that is why, because everybody kept asking me, where you at for New Year's? Or why are you not going here? Or where's your vlog for New Year's? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do anything. So that is why I wasn't able to. I hope all of you guys enjoyed your New Year's. And comment down below and let me know something that you guys did fun. Or how did you bring in your New Year's? So let's get into what I'm sure you guys came here for. This wig, okay? Yes, it's the wig. Okay. When I tell y'all I had the struggle with this wig, I'm about to tell y'all all about it, okay? So this wig is from wigsby.com, and I was so fortunate to be able to do a collab with them, and they did send me in this wig to review. So thank you, Wigsby, for this opportunity. And the wig that they sent me, um, sorry, y'all got notes because I'm an old lady and I be forgetting stuff. The wig that they sent me is the 10 inch human hair straight lace front in the color 613. And um, it does come in like this natural black color, but I chose the color 613 because I wanted something different. I mean, I can dye it, all that stuff. And the price of this wig is, according to the website right now, um, with their sale, is $145.34. And they shipped it out on the 17th to me, and I received it on the 21st. So pretty quick on shipping, as you guys can see. Uh, they do ask you to give them 10 to 15 days for processing only because it's like say you want your wig cut a certain way or you want a color a certain way like me like my wig <laughs> if you want like 613 or something they do hand make all the wigs to match whatever picture you picked on their website and I'll show you guys the picture that I picked um for my wig to look like I did already do an unboxing video slash like a mini initial review so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out so I don't have to like re go over all of those specs because it is some good information in there I'll link that down below I hope you guys go check that out I do want to let you guys know I did have to like fix this wig up and I'm not saying that in a bad Okay, so I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying it because usually you can just like, when you get a wig, you can just like plop it on your head and keep going. Mm -hmm. You had to do a little work on her. You had to love her, okay? And I think, I don't know what I want to call her, y'all. But in this video, I should have a name. I have a few names in mind. I'm thinking Nikki. And I'll tell you why I'm thinking Nikki. <laughs> All right. I did have to tone the wig and I did tone the wig with shimmer and light shampoo and I also did do hell of plucking like a lot a lot a lot a lot of plucking to this wig and I'm still not done like I still can pluck a little bit here and I didn't bleach the knots I'm gonna be honest with you guys I did not have any bleach so I didn't bleach so I had went ahead and just put on my head and did the makeup and plucked whatever was like weird looking and I put makeup on it to blend it in. Uh, once I take this wig off and wash it and all that stuff, I am going to bleach the knots be just because in the summertime, y'all know that sun be hitting. And I don't want anybody, like, 
like, I don't want to look crazy on me, okay? I don't got time. Okay, so for styling, like how I got the wig to look like this. Okay, honey, like this. After I washed it and all that stuff, did the toner that you guys saw in the clip, I did let it air dry a little bit and I let it get a little tiny bit poofy. Then I took a black, the black got to be glued and I literally put it in my hands, I rubbed it and I was scrunching it like this. And mind you guys, this hair is straight, so I was trying to get, because it, it's not very full, so I didn't want to wear it straight, so I wanted to wear it like this, so it looks like bigger. And so I was just doing like this, the scrunching motion, mo motion. <laughs> the scrunching motion, and then I use, because you know, that gel can be a little harsh and it will get a little hard, but it gives a good hold. So then I started, I went and got some Tresemme Smooth Oil and I put that all across my hands and I smoothed it all over my head. And that is how I achieved this look. Let's go ahead and get into like the specs of this hair and all that stuff. And I'm about to go ahead and let you guys know I'm giving it to you guys raw and uncut. I'm gonna be honest, I always am honest with reviews because I don't want my subscribers, Uni Gang, to go out and purchase something that I said buy or something that I reviewed or recommended and you know they're using their money and it not be worth their money I just want to get into the specs I just want you guys to be able to find what's right for you before you spend your money on it there is some negatives and some positives and everything goes with a negative most times anyway so let's go ahead and get into it so my like biggest pet peeve with this wig which I stated in the previous video that is going to be linked down below the unboxing video is the parting space it's literally like here to here like that's the parting space so it is literally this is how much parting space I have which is kind of like yeah for me because when you wear hairstyles like this like if you part it usually do like a deep part and I can't even do that and it also was very very dense and thick in the front so there was a lot of plucking that needed to be done as I stated before. It is a little thinned out at the bottom and I just think it's because it's a 10 inch and it's also layered like in the back and on the side it's layered and also it's a blunt like bob so I'm assuming that was to give it more a natural look and because it's shorter that is why it's like that. Me personally if I could add in some tracks to it I would but I like the natural look too. There wasn't any smell when I received the hair. There was no shedding. When I washed the hair, I got like two strands. It was literally like nothing. And I was surprised because I had did so much plucking and stuff that I just thought the hair was gonna be shedding, but it really didn't, y'all. It really didn't. It is super, super soft. I love that about this hair. Like usually hair will be like silky soft, like silky soft. I don't know how to explain it. You have to like feel it for yourself. But, I, right now it's not super soft it's still soft but it's just because I have products in it but when the hair is like in its natural state it is so soft y'all like so soft like baby doll hair soft also I love this wig because it's a perfect fit and my head is huge like y'all I have an egg head shout out to Ariel for that but I have an egg head and my head is huge so I have to make sure that the wigs fit so it does come with adjustable straps and then in the back so I was able to like pull it as far as forward as I needed to and then tighten it to make sure it's gonna stay on my head so I love that when communicating with wigs by um, about this this whole collab questions that I had about the hair anything I anything wigs by related I had to ask them or just in general they were very fast and efficient with their communication and I absolutely love that because that means that they care about their customers and then that means if you guys were to order from them that they would be that fast and efficient with them this is a wig a good wig for like a medium experience like wig wear if that makes sense because you do have to do a lot of plucking and like a lot of little it's, it's a little petty. This, the things you have to do to it is a little bit petty. If you're just looking for a wig that you want to purchase that's already pre plucked, all that good stuff, you want to just slap it in your head, this is not for you. But other than that, this wig is going to be for you. It is affordable. I mean, it's less. It's, it's $150, y'all. It's, it's a good price. And then also the hair, like, even though that it's 613, like, platinum blonde, it is still the quality like the softness it still bounces it still moves and stuff 
So I will give it a thumbs up. I absolutely love doing this collab with wigsby.com and I look forward to doing many more in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you guys like this hairdo on me. Check out my Instagram. Um, it's at uniquelykiera underscore. I did post some pictures up there of me and my new hairdo. So I want you guys to check that out. But yes, again, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I am literally like 200, maybe 200 less now away from 2,000 subscribers. So let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. It's 2019. We reach all of our goals. Let's do this. Ah. Thank you, CIB, Vero. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.